Hey, it's a title card for the show, and I don't have a proper intro yet. Yay! Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Super Show. She learned the finger guns move from me. I'm very proud. We are not horrendously tired. We didn't fall asleep and wake up and realize that we had to fucking still record well, we two didn't. episodes. We didn't. You did. <laughs> Shush. But the finger guns. That was that was the thing I was excited about last time. Was the I, finger guns? I was like, ah, she did the thing because I did finger guns. Look at this fucking flower crown. No, but I did physical. I did fin physical finger guns you earlier. You did. You did. And then it was oh. like. Oh, he just put his glasses She's back on. definitely a charmer. Speaking of which, where did my son go? What? No, he's like, she's definitely a charmer. No, that's him. That's his voice. He's... Oh, this, this one him. is oh, This one is me... I'm sleepy, leave me alone. I know, this one is me doing Hugo my... Hugo looks around the party. We but... fi mu he must finally spot him because he, his eyes go wide. Uh, this, is, this is like... He's like... Uh, and he's like me I didn't realise it was him talking. I thought it was the other kid. This is me doing my best Ray Naves Jr. impersonation. Whoa. Which isn't very good. <gasps> Ernest! Ernest Hemingway Vega! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Are you smoking? His name is Ernest Hemingway Vega. Oh. Ernest uh, is holding No, no, I, I, yeah. you, do the, you do the boy voices yeah. and I do the, the, the internal monologue. monologue. Yeah. Uh, Ernest is holding a lit cigarette. No. Uh, I see Ernest across the way. He casually takes a long drag of a cigarette and then flicks it into a gutter. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, he is pissed. <laughs> Unbelievable. Excuse me. He's so angry, he's dimpling. Hugh, yeah, go. Hugo marches over to Ernest, and I and I turn my attention to Martin Creek. Can you read that okay? Yeah, no, no, I can read. I just, okay. I'm just tired. Yeah, me too. Hi, baby. Hi, little bobber. <laughs> Kids, right? Oh. Man, I do not envy Hugo. The last barbecue we had, Ernest tried to shove a sparkler down Joseph's pants, nearly burned down the half the yard. And the barbecue we had before that, he actually burned down half the yard. So one of them is is like a sleepy version of yeah, the other. And it's yeah, really pretty cute. much. One's surfer dude and one's stoner dude. Even though I don't assume he is a stoner, but you yeah, know. but like he's like the hippie dude. Yeah, he's really hot. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then it spread onto my lawn and burned down half of my yard, too. Eh. Hugo walks back oh. over to us, practically dragging <laughs> Ernest behind him. He's literally, his eyes are so, like, he's so done that you can barely see his pupils. That is actually Ray as a teenager. <laughs> yep. Oh my, oh my god, that's amazing. The dirty mo that's like, he's just like a smaller, smaller versions than of his dad. It's uh. great. By the way, I finally figured out why everyone has has dots. Because mm. Game Grumps have the dots. Uh, it's cute. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the reason. Like, that's my that's it's my. It's just reason. like patterns, and mm -hmm. that's like one of the ones that's really easy. Hey, everybody. Sorry about that. Steel, this is my son, Ernest. Ernest. Er, er, Ernest. Er, er, Ernest. I stumbled. It's okay. Hello. Ernest looks away, sulking. His hands shoved deep into his pockets. Dot, 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 dot. <sighs> Hugo nudges him impatiently. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his eyes, hey. though. Nice to meet you, Ernest. What grade are you in? Does it matter? Oh. Ernest. Okay, okay, I'm in eighth grade. God, are you happy now? I'm sure you were just dying to know. <laughs> uh... Yeah, good for you. <laughs> Can I go now? I'm tired of talking to old dudes who blame my generation for the failure economy. <laughs> I mean, big mood. That's big fantastic. Mood. Ouch. <sighs> Ernest. Oh, yeah, because I'm totally embarrassing you. Look at his face. No, did you see his I face? I did. It was amazing. Oh, it was like... Ernest puts his earbuds. Sorry, Ernest puts earbuds in and storms off to stand in the corner. Well, that that was certainly something. He seems nice. Hugo puts his head in his hands and sighs. Ah, I'm so sorry. He's having a really rough time. As much as I want to be the cool dad, I have to be the authoritarian dad, and he clearly resents me for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, excuse me. <laughs> 
I mean, I think as a dad... No, 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 no. okay. What? Did I... I thought you went, it's a little bit high-pitched. I'm trying to make it more high-pitched to differentiate. Oh, <laughs> okay, then you continue. You do, you blossom forth. I, I mean, I think as a dad and a teacher, that's about as authoritarian as you can get. Hmm. Honestly, are you... Are any of us cool dads? Is it even possible to be a cool dad? What? I'm as cool as a cucumber. Hey. See? That right there? You can't say that. I don't know. My kids think I'm cool. But for how long, Craig? How long do we get to be the cool dad? <laughs> this is like existential crisis level. It's existential crisis. Oh my god. I, I, I uh, don't know. Hey. I think we just have to accept the fact that as dads, we've become the machine we once raged against and accept our fate to unironically wear socks with sandals. Your kids may think you're cool now, but the moment they hit puberty, you're doomed. Amanda's 18 and she still thinks I'm cool. I yell across the yard to my daughter. Amanda! I'm cool, right? Amanda just laughs. She keeps laughing. <laughs> I see your point. Um... <laughs> As much as I, as much as we all want it, I don't think, uh, I don't think it's important to be as cool dad as it is to be a good dad. We can't all be best friends with our kids. It just doesn't work. I mean, look at me in earnest. That is a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's impossible to be ooh. like the best dad all the time. You just gotta do the you right gotta, thing. You just gotta dad it up. Our job as parents is to make sure our kids turn out okay. Mm. Yeah, you're right. But it'd be nice to have it both ways. Hearing these guys talk about this makes me think of my relationship with Amanda. We get along so well, but there might be t come a time when it won't be like that. Is college when that happens? Ah. Don't let us eat up your time, Steel. Go meet some of the other people around the neighborhood. So I can but talk- But you were all so handsome. I already talked to them. Yep. So Robert O'Brien and Joseph and Damien. Or Burger Time. Burger Time. I feel like burger time means we're going to resign not to not talking to them, so who do you want to talk to? Uh, let's talk to Joseph and Damien. Okay. I spot- yeah, uh, yeah. I spot Joseph chatting with the guy from Death, Dead, Goth, and Beyond by the grill. I wonder what they're- I wonder what they're talking about. I walk over to them. Hmm. So I, I was rubbing my eye. So I'm curious. Can you walk me through why you had those- your house painted black? Huh. Where do I even start? The house stays warmer in the winter, it provides an artistic contrast to the rest of the neighborhood, and it complements the crimson interior perfectly. Oh. It's definitely an interesting choice. How delightful. Thank you. I'm very proud of my abode. Steel, I was just having a conversation with Damien here about his aesthetic design decisions. Damien regards me up and down with a warm but critical eye. Aw. Why is this so pink and pretty? <laughs> yeah. How do you do? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. <laughs> oh my god, I love this dude. Do you like my voice? That I, I've even yes, in? it's perfect. I think I saw you in Dead Goth and Beyond the other day. Damien's face turns bright red. Aww. I must apologize for my behavior on that day. You see, I take the goth lifestyle very seriously, and to be caught in a ruse by such a corporation as dead goth and beyond was profoundly frustrating indeed. Hmm. I hope you know that while my anger may have been justified, it was no such way for a gentleman to act. It's okay, man. <laughs> Do tell me about yourself. Are you new to the area? Yes, my daughter and I just moved in the other day. She was the one I took to Dead Goth and Beyond. <laughs> Very good taste on her part. Does she partake in the goth lifestyle? I think for a second. I look over to Amanda, who's hanging out with some of the older kids in the neighborhood. Oh my. Hey Amanda! <laughs> would you consider yourself goth? <laughs> Amanda yells back. I wouldn't necessarily try to fall under any one specific label, but I guess if I had to choose, I would more describe myself as twee hipster than, than with some norm core leanings. Bats are cool though. <laughs> Love our daughter so much. <laughs> She's a beautiful child I and know. we have raised her so well. Hmm. Aw, oh, pity. Huh? Are you enjoying the party so far? <laughs> Joseph must be so uncomfortable I this know. whole time. Oh, definitely. Thanks so much for putting this on. It's nice to be in a cul-de-sac where everyone is so friendly and welcoming. 
Amanda walks up to the conversation. I also like The Lost Boys a lot. Really good movie. Does that count as Garth? That it would, my dear. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Damien Bloodmarch, at your service. Bloodmarch. Yeah. Bloodmarch. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I am in love. I am also I don't, in love. I don't know about you. It's the nail polish but I wanna, every time. I want to burn goth dad. Mm-hmm. Mm. Damien finishes the skull and cross bone. Uh, <laughs> Damien finishes the sentence with a flourish and a bow. I literally, like, flourished my hand out, producing a single rose and offering it to Amanda. Oh, my God. I love him. Dude. Oh, such a handsome boy. Amanda blushes and returns the gesture with a curtsy. We have raised a good child. My, you do know how to treat a lady. Ah. <laughs> Hello, Amanda. <laughs> oh, God, the shining children. I don't like how they blink in unison. Seemingly out of nowhere, Joseph's twin kids appear. Uh, are they speaking in unison? Can we both voice them? <laughs> what? Uh, hey. Won't you come and play with us? You fucked it up. Did I? Won't you come, come play, play with, with us? <laughs> there we go. Hmm. Uh, come, come play, play with, with us forever. forever. <laughs> That's fucking terrifying. Guys, enough of the creepy twin shtick. We've talked about this. Christian and Christy slowly back away. Where do you think they got that from? Hmm. Mary pops into the conversation, wine in hand. God. <laughs> I, uh, dunno. Mary takes a long sip of wine. What is up with you, bro? I, l I know just because I've read the spoilers because I, okay. I, I, I exist on the internet and I've okay. seen them, but I'm like, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I think I might have taped over a VeggieTales VHS with The Shining. Who knows? She takes another sip of her wine. Mm. Where's Krish? Come on. Wasn't he with you? You had him a moment ago. Uh, he's probably stuffing dirt in his mouth. He'll be all right. Toddlers are pretty resilient. Mary tips her glass to me. Mm. Ain't my first time to the rodeo. It's my fourth. Ugh. I have squeezed four little... <sighs> Sweetheart, would you do me a favor and please find Krish? That would be great. Hmm. I'm sure he's fine. Uh, Mary... Ah, okay, jeez. Mary finishes her wine and wanders off. Fucking I love them. Wasps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Are you voicing Lucian as well? No. Dad, can we go now? <laughs> ah, Lucian. Have I introduced you to Steel yet? Oh, it's wannabe Gerard Way, motherfucker. Hey, it's that punk from Amanda's school. I remember you. <laughs> Look at his little face. Whatever. <laughs> oh, he's smiling. Look, he's smiling. Mm. That's no way for a young man to speak to his elders. Be polite. Lucian bows. Oh, my God. Whatever, sir. <laughs> Lucian bows again. <laughs> Mr. Christensen. Is that actually his name? Yeah. His name is... Christensen. Just keep going. <laughs> we'll get through this. May I have a veggie burger, sir? Oh. Coming right up, bud. Are you a vegetarian? Yep. Uh -huh. mm. Make that two veggie burgers. Did you know that some people in the Victoria e Victorian era were vegetarians? They described carnivorous type of people as blood lappers. Dad. Oh. That's really interesting, Damien. Joseph turns to the grill. Just a hint of a tattoo peeks out from underneath his sleeve. I can't believe I didn't notice it before. Looks like the bottom of an anchor. Ugh. Whoa, is that a tattoo? <laughs> yep, I wasn't always a youth pastor, you know. That's so cool. Want to see mine? What? <gasps> what? Oh, it's the one, the, the yeah. rubber bracelets. Lucian pulls back some rubber bracelets, revealing a <laughs> lopsided 666 in black ink. Oh, uh, did you do it yourself, bro? <laughs> did you get a fucking ink pen and stick it in? Oof. My buddy gave me a stick and poke tattoo last week. I think it's healing up pretty good. Lucian! Oh no. We'll talk about this later. Mm. That's pretty cool. 
What's the significance of the tattoo? I don't know. I just thought it looked sick. <laughs> well, in my opinion, the only reason you need to get a tattoo is because you want one. Careful though, the number carries weight. That number carries weight, shit. Man, Joseph is a way cooler youth pastor than I thought. I just figured out figured youth pastors popped out of the womb with a Bible. I wonder what he did before preaching. And we'll find out next time on the Super Show! Actually, we probably about. won't find out next time on the Super Show. We'll find out at some point later on in the Super Show. But not next time, because we're still building towards the... Anyway. I feel like that's <laughs> so Aaron, though. Popped out the womb with popped a Bible. Popped out the womb with a Bible? Yeah, totally. Anyway, we love you guys very much. We'll see you next time. I'm kind of more awake now. Uh, we love you. Take care. Uh, bye bye. Bye. I, I like this game. I like this game too. I like this game. I like this game. I like this game. I love this I'm more no. <laughs> I'm more like twee hipster with leanings of normal core. <laughs> I'm like same, except never have I ever been normal core. Or described yourself as twee. I'm a little twee. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs>